Hello everybody, my name is KevGuy378 and welcome back to If My Heart Had Wings. We just went to go get the withdrawal notice. And we're gonna see if I am going to give it to her. I went to get the withdrawal notice that I had stuck to the back of the drawer. <sighs> when I held the withdrawal notice in my hand, the terrible things that I had said to her came to the back of my mind. Do you have something like that? Something ahead of you if you quit school and go back to your hometown? I regret those words as I offer her the withdrawal notice. You dropped this, so I picked it up. Arigato. However, Katori didn't take it straight away. For her to take that would be for her to decide her own future. But in the end, she reached out her hand. Shwoop. I quickly pulled it away, and she seemed embarrassed. I'm not gonna do it. What? I'm not gonna give it back. I held on to it and I left the room. <laughs> Okaeri! Bangohan dekteri yo! Yay! Instant noodles! I, I think. I walk up beside Kanako as I make it look like I'm rummaging around the kitchen. Not long after, Katori comes into the dining hall. That's too bad. I've already hidden it somewhere else. I won't accept it. Just give it another chance. Huh? Feelings that this situation wasn't fair were bubbling up inside me. I know how Katori feels. It must have been incredibly difficult, and it makes me feel a pain in my chest just imagining it. But it's only been 10 days since I came here. I feel like I want to do something for her, but isn't the time that I've been given too short? I get it. I'm just being nosy. I totally get it. No way, if you want it back, look for it yourself. The hell if I know. It was so badly, and play dumb. I don't think so. Tori's face has gone red. Looks like her rage ga gauge has reached max. Firing off a few parting shots, Katori hurries out of the dining hall. The door at the end of the hallway closed with a slam. I pull the piece of paper out from under my shirt. Thanks for your help. Extend the little wings which fly in the sky highly. So, yeah, I think it's good that I hit it. Because... Victoria should give it another chance. Hello?
at lunch break, Agaha and I were called to the staff room. It's because we were both absent yesterday. We told the truth and said we were hanging out and got a really severe scolding from our homeroom teacher. Well, that can't be helped. It's a good thing they didn't contact our parents. <sighs> Agaha isn't her usual cheerful self this morning. I don't think so. Don't worry about it. You know, Katori understood why you did that. Actually, she was regretting it too. The fact that she had an argument with Agaha. Oh. Do you? You don't kiss up to people, though, do you? どうかな。私ね、仲いい子はたくさんいるけど、青いたちと遊んでた時くらい親友って感じの子は今いないんだ。Oh, so they're more like acquaintances. I guess that Agha can get along with anyone, but it doesn't feel like there's anybody she is particularly close to. To be honest, I thought that was a little strange. I'm the same. I got along with everyone in the Psycho Racing Club, but I couldn't talk to them in the same way I can talk to you guys. <laughs> that is a question of time. I hadn't spent the same amount of time with them. Me, Agaha, and the others were each other's very first friends here in this neighborhood, back before I can even remember. If there was anyone else who I got along with... Idiot, moron, knucklehead... Suddenly all those insults spring to mind. Do we really... get along? Even if you weren't told to, you were worried about Katori anyway, weren't you? Victoria is taking a day off school today too. I got thought it was her fault and was blaming herself. This morning when I woke up, Katori had already left. There were signs that the kitchen had been messed up, and it looked like she had been searching for the withdrawal notice that I hid. Actually, it was in the drawer in my room. It's not your fault that Katori hasn't come to school. It's not just what I think. I'm almost completely certain. The truth is... I remembered that we were in the hallway of the school and took a quick look around. There's nobody passing, so I didn't have to worry about anyone hearing. Tori wants to quit school. <laughs> From a long time ago, seems like she had decided before I came back here. I got was surprised to hear this out of the blue and didn't say anything. <laughs> Not because she argued with the girls in the class. There's a deeper reason for it. I think that it is also the reason for her recent behavior and attitude. Yeah, since she was planning to quit school soon, she thought it would just cause problems for us. Was because you both misunderstood each other. Yes, that is how I saw it too. Oh, I'm kind of like that too, just not finishing unfinished business or, or you know, getting, getting your point across to people without them misunderstanding you. Eka takes her unfocused anger out on me by hitting my chest. Ow, ow, ow! I only found out by coincidence. Also, ouch, I can't just go around telling other people her secrets, can I? I just picked up the withdrawal notice by coincidence, so I didn't know when she was planning on submitting it, or even if she was really serious about it. 
Don't exactly ask her about it either. I'm sorry, okay? That hurts. Seriously, stop punching me. Then, I thought that she didn't want to quit school anymore. She'd been coming to school, helping with the meal preparations at the dormitory, and it looked like she was enjoying herself. I just assumed that everything was okay now. Yeah, sure. I, I, I mean, it, it, it's where I live, so I have to go there. Oh. In an attempt to offer some comfort to Agahub, who is now crying, I shrugged her head. Anyway, today is Friday. Here's a deadline of the grace period for gathering club members given to us by the Student Council Vice President Akari Kumoi. Oh no. After school, Agaha and I, and then one other person, went to the soaring club's garage. The Vice President came to see the four of us one by one, including club leader Amane as we lined up. Uh... Uh, hello, Kanako. I didn't expect you to be here. <laughs> A vein was clearly visible on the Vice President's temple. What do you mean? She's a new member. What? You can't just reject it. No, no, this Please explain. So, that's all. You live in a mitome night to eat the hats this. How's your ghost member? No, the chimits get on this car. This is the tyranny of the student council. So, that's all. But I see a sort of Yakogarecha, what do you think? Oh. Oh, okay, that's why. What? Yeah, How do they know? How do, do they just follow her? You're you're a you're a ghost member. I remember you. Hey, you're a ghost member in this one too. You two are in the same class? Yes? I guess they are in the same grade. She gets rid of Kanako with a flat refusal. It seems that she's used to dealing with her. No. Oh. It, it is getting disbanded. No. Mane sheepishly passes her a printed out piece of paper. It was the result of the Soaring Club's activities that she had compiled. ここ数年で不来としたのは先日の一度きり、それも授業中という暴挙。大会を目指している これはいわゆるサークル活動ではありませんかうん。あ、マネ。素直に認めちゃダメです。ダメかな、副会長。どうしても行きたい場所があるんだ。There's something that sound like a desperate appeal in Amane's voice. 行きたい場所? The 
The vice president said nothing as she looked at her, as if trying to figure out the true meaning. So <gasps> However, oh, I just said that already. The vice president looked as if she was about to say something very important and looked behind us towards the back of the garage. Habane san! What? Where'd she come from? There was Katori. She had entered at some point. He said to Mane. <gasps> it is her notebook. But Katori did not come towards us. Next to the glider with its sheet removed. She was looking down slightly at something on her lap. Mane walked over to her. Katori looks at the white sleek aircraft. <gasps> was this in the diary? And then she held out the thing that was on her lap, a photograph. <laughs> Nomane saw it. she was wide-eyed with surprise. <gasps> My assumptions were right, I think. Tears welled up in her eyes. I don't know. Aga and I walked over there to take a look at the photograph that Katori was holding. It was a photograph of clouds. Ooh, this is pretty. A sunset dyed in indigo and orange, or was it sunrise? In the beautifully colored, clear morning glow was a huge row of clouds which looked similar to a passage extending across the sky. This must be the passage of clouds. Yeah, it must be hers. Agatha and I, Hanako and the Vice President. We're all fascinated by the miraculous spectacle shown in the photograph. Tori asked again. For a moment, I couldn't make the mental connection between the question and the view in the photograph. That was because it was a place too far away to be associated with the word go. This place. Riding this glider, as I look at the photograph, I envision the white aircraft without an engine, flying across the sky, being so graceful, great, and solemn. That really was a miraculous sight. All of us, even Akari, held our breath as we waited for Mane's answer. Can I go to this place? She murmured as she took the photograph and looked at it nostalgically. Oh, Suka's a girl? Oh, okay. Mane, who had until just now had tears in her eyes, smiled happily as she said that name. Yay, our fourth member! Of course, not, of course you're not going to be a burden, Katori. She spoke with both fear and a lack of confidence in her voice. However, in her eyes seemed to be a strong determination. When Amane saw those eyes, she answered. And I am going to end the video here, everybody. And we'll find out in the next video what her answer will be. So everyone, thank you for watching this episode. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. That'd be so awesome of you guys. And I will see you guys in the next video, everybody. Goodbye.